two sperm samples. They may look as they should, they may wriggle as they should, but the ones on the right are far from natural. These are the world's first artificial human sperm created in the lab from embryonic stem cells. Scientists at Newcastle University believe they could one day allow infertile men to father their own biological children. That's currently illegal, and for now they're using the technique to study why around 1% of men produce no sperm at all. We can use this system to study male infertility. For example, if we isolate the skin cells and one day, and we could uh, reprogram those cells to the stem cells, and from the stem cells, again, develop them to the sperm cells. The technique used stem cells that had been taken from a male embryo. These were grown in the lab until they started to develop into the many different types of body tissue. Using a special dye, scientists were able to mark out the stem cells which had the characteristics of very early sperm. These were separated out using a laser and placed into a chemical broth. The cells then divided, halving their number of chromosomes to just 23, a crucial step in sperm development. The scientists claim some of these then elongated, grew the characteristic tail and started to swim. But other scientists have doubts that the sperm would really work. We certainly need to see an egg being fertilized and we can do that experimentally and we can see how the sperm reacts to the egg and what happens to the chromosomes. There's a quite an elaborate sequence of events that occurs when a sperm meets an egg and when the chromosomes merge together. And I would want to see that again as another piece of crucial evidence to make sure that what we have here are actually sperm. There are ethical concerns too. It's basically a very unnatural system and the, the very unnaturalness of that creates a bunch of biological risks uh, which will, uh, in my view, make it ethically unacceptable to ever go there. In theory, artificial sperm would mean men are no longer needed for reproduction, but that could increase the chances of genetic diseases, and many scientists argue men still have an important psychological and emotional role in raising children. Thomas Moore, Sky News.